Welcome back to the channel. My name's Tom. Today I'm taking a look at a spectacular and arguably dead mall, Aviation Mall in Queensbury, New York. This mall opened in 1975. The original anchor stores were J.C. Penney and Denby's. Within a few years, they also added a Sears and a Caldor. And not surprisingly, the only remaining original anchor store is J.C. Penney, which I seem to be saying in almost all of my mall videos. For those of you wondering, this was filmed on a Tuesday at about 2.30 in the afternoon, roughly about a month before Christmas. <laughs> so theoretically, this should be a very busy time for the mall with, you know, Christmas shopping and all. I thought this was a bit unusual, a pontoon boat on display in a mall. Never seen that before. From what I understand, this mall was fairly successful for most of its life. Today I would say that this mall is at best a dying mall, and at worst it's gone just over the line into dead mall territory. As I've never been here before, it's hard for me to say when it started to become a dead or dying mall, but my research seems to indicate that it's definitely been struggling for at least the last decade or so. But if anybody has more insight on that, please let me know in the comments. One of the things that makes me think this is a dying mall and possibly a dead mall is the number of store vacancies, which, as you'll see, there's quite a few of them. Here's the JCPenney. This is not the original location of JCPenney, though. JCPenney built and moved into this location in 1994. The original location of JCPenney is roughly where Dix is today, which is just around the corner from here. Now, before we take a look at the rest of the mall, I did have to make a quick stop here and just take a look at some of the puppies. In the top left, there's a little Boston Terrier. Looks just like my dog did when she was a puppy. Another thing that makes me think this is a dead mall is the relatively low number of customers. Uh, it's definitely not an empty mall, other than this stretch here, which looks empty. Uh, we'll see more people as we go further down the mall, but there definitely should be a lot more people here, especially this time of the year. So here's the Dick's Sporting Goods I was talking about. This was the original location of J.C. Penney, and it was here up until 1994. The Dick's moved in in 2005. I'm honestly not sure, though, what was here in between J.C. Penney and Dick's, if anything. And don't forget, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and hit that notification bell. I've got a lot more mall videos coming up. Thanks. On the left is the Target. The Target was built in 2004. And from what I understand, before Target was there, there was nothing there. I think that was actually part of the parking lot. There's definitely more stores open here than in, say, for example, the Hudson Valley Mall in New York. But, um, yeah, it's pretty bad. There's a lot of vacancies here.
Coming up on the right is the Regal Cinemas, which replaced the original Hoyts Theater back in 2017. In addition to the name change, they also expanded the theater from seven to nine screens. And now, coming up is what I believe makes this mall truly spectacular. This is quite possibly the most amazing thing I've seen at a mall in over 30 years. What is this? Oh my god. I didn't know this was here ahead of time, and when I saw it, my mind was blown. I, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. This is the original atrium that used to be in front of Caldor. The Caldor opened in 1979, and I'm fairly certain this atrium was built at the same time as Caldor, but it could have been here since the mall's opening day. I'm not 100% sure on that. Here's a picture of what this area used to look like when it was Caldor. And for the most part, this atrium has remained relatively unchanged over the decades. The only changes I can see, other than the lack of Caldor, is that the floor used to be brick, which I'm sure is still under this carpet here. And there used to be four lamps per light post. Now there's only one lamp per light post. I'm honestly not sure how this atrium has survived this intact over something like 45 years, but I'm glad it did. I also read at one point where the plants are today were water fountains, pools, and streams, but I wasn't able to find any pics online to confirm this, so if anybody out there knows if that's true, please let me know. The Caldor closed in 1998 and was replaced by the Bonton. The Bonton finally closed in 2018 and was then replaced by Ollie's in 2019. And as you can see, you cannot enter Ollie's from here. You can only enter Ollie's from the parking lot. So this, um, this part of the mall actually reminded me a lot of the old Farmington Valley Mall that used to be in Avon slash Simsbury, Connecticut up until about 25 years ago. That mall had a lot of brickwork like this, and these planters look a lot like the planters they had at the Farmington Valley Mall. And I actually forgot that Farmington Valley Mall had planters like this until I saw this. It just brought back so many memories. And also, I normally wouldn't include, you know, this part where I'm taking photos on my cell phone. But again, I just wanted to get every piece of this place in this video. So I figured the more video of it, the better. I was really sad to leave that atrium. I honestly could have spent hours just sitting there, just taking in the ambiance, but uh, I had a lot more malls to see and I didn't have that much time to stay here, so I had to move on.
as I mentioned earlier, one of the original anchor stores here was Denby's. And as near as I can figure, Denby's, I think, was located to the left. Um, according to an article I read on um, labelscars.com, one of the contributors said that he used to work here way back in the old days and that his recollection was that um, Denby's was located somewhere towards the middle of the mall and some other people thought it was located in the old Old Navy, which used to be to the left there. And then TJ Maxx was actually located to the right. I'm not sure when that closed though, but I think it probably was within the last five to ten years maybe. Straight ahead is where Sears used to be. Sears was here, I think, probably from the late 70s up until 2018. Um, I'm not exactly sure when the Sears opened, but it seems to have been around that time. And while this area isn't quite as spectacular as the atrium we just came from, it's a close second. Based on that photo I showed earlier of the Sears, this used to be a Payless shoe store at some point. Not sure when it closed though. I've never seen one of these at a mall before. This is a little mini elevator for a wheelchair. And I'm not sure why they need that though, because there is that ramp there to the left, so I would assume they could have used that. And then these stairs are ridiculously steep. I've never seen stairs that steep before. And they kind of seem unnecessarily steep. I, I really don't get why they're like that. And no mall would be complete without a WOW Entertainment Center. This one has a logo that's a little bit different than the one I'm used to, but as far as I can tell, it's the same company. And like most WOW Entertainment Centers, there's nobody here. There's almost never anybody in these places. But I figured, you know, hey, I'd stop and play some games. But of course, the change machine was broken. But I don't think it was a huge loss, because I would say this is one of the worst selections of games I've seen in a WOW Entertainment Center recently. But... At least it's here, at least there is still an arcade. And down the hall, they actually do have a much better arcade than this one anyways. Here's what remains of the food court. There's barely anything left here. Um, from what I read online, at one point, up until about 1997, they had a fairly large McDonald's here, as well as many, many other restaurants. I think today there's just this one Chinese restaurant left. This is the hallway to the bathrooms, and I can say the bathrooms were fairly nice, but I'm not going to show them, so uh, let's move on. I'm fairly certain this is the first time I've ever seen a fence company in a mall. And I thought this giant mirror was kind of weird. It definitely makes the place look bigger, but I don't know. It's just odd. So if you've been to this mall before, let me know what you think of it. Do you think this is a dead mall, a dying mall? 
or is it doing just fine? I would say I'm fairly confident saying this is a dead mall. You know, it's not the worst I've ever seen. Obviously, like Hudson Valley Mall, Enfield Square Mall are far worse than this. But with this many vacancies, I mean, I, I don't think I can call it anything other than a dead mall. But, of course, let me know what you think in the comments. This is that other arcade I was talking about. This is called At The Pier Arcade. And this is definitely a much nicer arcade than almost every uh, WoW arcade I've ever been to. But the problem with this one is it uses a special card system for uh, playing the games. It doesn't use tokens or quarters. And as I don't have any of these types of arcades in my area, it didn't make sense for me to put a bunch of money on a card. You know, unless I was gonna use all of it and I didn't think I would, so. Didn't play any games here, but yeah, this is a much, much better arcade than that WoW arcade we were just in, obviously. As you can see, this hallway is a dead end here. I believe behind that wall is the target. And like I said, before the target moved in, I don't think there was anything there. I think that would have been the parking lot ahead of us. So my guess is this used to be an entrance hallway. There's the inside of Aviation Mall, but don't go anywhere yet. I'm going to do a drive around of the mall next, and we can see what it looks like from the outside. All 
right, so first up is the old Sears. And like I said, this opened, I believe, in the late 70s and was here until 2018. Here's the only photo I could find of it when it was still Sears. I really like the glass work here. It kind of looks like a greenhouse on the left. And then it just kind of looks like mirrors above the entrance there. It's really nice. Very 1970s though in design. Here's the Target building, which was built in 2004. And I believe before that, this was just parking lot. Here's the J.C. Penney building, which was built in 1994. And I think before 1994, there was nothing there. That's my understanding. I think that was just more parking lot. And here's the Dix, which was the original location of J.C. Penney when the mall first opened. Here's the Ollies, which was originally Caldor and then the Bonton up until uh, 2018. And here's the Sears building again. I'm pretty sure that was the Sears Auto Center right there. There you have it. That is Aviation Mall in Queensbury, New York. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. I stand by the fact that I believe this is a dead mall. Uh, if you liked the video, though, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and hit that notification bell. I've got a lot more mall videos coming up, as well as store walkthroughs and, of course, flea markets. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.